Dr. Luprecht, are you aware of what happened to my colleague Kenny Chu in the last election, primarily because he introduced a bill to propose making this foreign influence registry? Um, I'm aware of some of the online activity that was directed uh, at your colleague, um, and I also believe that that activity had a material influence on the outcome in that particular um, uh, uh, in that particular writing. So you like there was a McGill study. I'm sure you might be aware of it that said, you know, the overall election they said it didn't have a material impact, but at certain riding levels, they can't discount that it had a material impact on the election. Would you say that? he was one of the ridings primarily because he brought forward this bill uh, that was targeted by foreign uh, disinformation campaigns to defeat a candidate, uh, an incumbent candidate in a Canadian election. Uh, yeah, I think it, it clearly undermined our democracy, and it was quite nefarious because the activity, as you well know, was conducted in language in, in neither English nor French. It was primarily conducted in a third language, a language in which our security, intelligence, and law enforcement cap uh, agencies have rather limited uh, capabilities, uh, nor did we have a plan of how we would actively identify such influence activity uh, and be able to counter it. And so, yes, it was, I think it is a canary in the coal mine of what any member of parliament faces um, when they actively well, engage in activity that thanks. displeases some of our adversaries. That's that's great. You know, I can understand, you know, I'm reading the 2021 Elections Canada report and, you know, they sort of talk about misinformation and disinformation, but it seems like they're really downplaying the impact of disinformation and information saying, you know, that Canadians can trust the election. And I think overall, the vast majority we can trust the election, but we know how sometimes elections in Canada can literally be decided by a single riding or a single handful of ridings. Um, do you think that Elections Canada needs to take this more seriously and even not only in their reports after the fact, but even during an election uh, to alert Canadians that there is a disinformation campaign uh, being conducted during the election? It's not an online problem. This is a long-standing problem in Canada where riding associations are captured by certain entities that are either close to certain countries, to certain ethnic groups, to certain religious groups. So what I would say is that the online um, uh, attempts at clear interference in our democratic processes is simply a continuation of a long-standing problem uh, that is related to uh, riding and constituency association levels and not sufficient um, uh, not sufficient attention, but, but also not efficient do you think, constraints. Do you think Elections rules. Canada should have sure done I, more? I'm sorry, we're out Absolutely. of time. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would now like